Hello there and welcome to the new Google Data Studio tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you the filter controls. So filter control is present over here which helps us filtering the data or the visualization which is present on the dashboard. So once we click it over here, let's say I want to drop the filter over here. So now the filter is being configured with the help of the dimension order date which I can change let's say to something uh, for example customer segment and as this visualization is present over here I can go into the view mode and now I can choose the different uh, settings from the filter so right now it is the multiple choice uh, option which has been given and all the options are enabled but I want to choose any specific particular section or the the home office let's say customer segment then I need to come over here and click only so instead of unchecking these three I can simply click on here as only and all my visualizations will be updated accordingly similarly let's say I want along with home office I want consumer as well so I will choose the consumer and you will see the visualization is updated accordingly so you have two options you can either have only or you can have these two the third option is the search let's say we want something related to the small business and we can check that and now the small business is also part of it so if I just cross this you will see that these three options are enabled and this search is very helpful in scenarios where you have hundreds of products or hundreds of territories hundreds of sales reps whenever you know the volume is high you will use the search instead of searching manually by going up and down using the scroll bar now along with that you must have seen that uh, there you are seeing these values which is nothing but the sales values so it's a good reference point or a good indicator that instead of showing it into a metric within the filter itself you can utilize the area where you can show the sales apart from sales if you want to change it to something other than the sales you have the option of coming over here in the metric and you can choose the metric let's say from sales we you want uh, something related to the profit which i was searching is it present yeah that's here so you can change it to the profit and now if you go into the view mode this will be changed to profit now apart from that if you see there are a lot of options which is very similar to other um, other charts that we have done but one interesting property which I will show you is present in the dimension so over here you have the option of doing a default selection so for example um, we always want that somebody is opening the dashboard then corporate should be enabled or let's say we have a different team altogether which needs to see the corporate dashboard every time though having the flexibility of choose others what we can do is uh, we can select this here uh, we can provide these the different options so we can enter corporate and this will what it will do is it will change this to corporate so if I go into the view mode you will see that by default it is selected to the corporate option so the the import the interesting thing over here is that if you do that uh, the dashboard becomes little optimized because when it loads it will not load the entire data to all the visualization but only to the corporate section and that way it may it will give you a faster output in terms of loading the data so that's an interesting option over here uh, but apart from that you have very similar option like uh, showing the top values let's say you only want to show the top two values then in that case you have the top two values like corporate home office and rest of the others are merged into all others so that is also an interesting property when you have multiple values for the filter then in that case you want to show only a relevant one and merge others into all other section like this so you can utilize this option which is the top option over here like you can choose whatever how many top values you want but rest of the others is very similar even in the style uh, it gives you the option of uh, that you want list or you want search all so if you click on search all what it gives you are different setting altogether. so if you go into the view mode so customer segment equal 
and you need to provide a value let's say home office and it will be changed accordingly so this is something which is a search bar so you can have not only equal to but uh, you have contain start with regex and so on and so forth so if i go into the edit mode again um, select this go into the style and choose change it to the list and in the list you have the option of pop-up menu fix size single select or enable as well as enable search box which i have shown you then you have the option of just formatting which i will leave it up to you how do you want to format it as per your own needs but that's about how you can configure the um, the filters and before i move ahead i will just show you one more thing which is a numeric filter so for example if i just take this and present it over here so order date is by default chosen so what i'll do is um, i will have something like for example profit i will have the profit over here and i don't want to show metric because it, it is irrelevant over here so if i go into the view mode you will see that sorry about that you will see that you have different profit uh, values over here so now if i want let's say uh, the profit which is above or below a certain certain threshold so for that what i'll do is greater than 10 thousand okay so what i quickly need to do for this is change this from a style option to search all and i will just drag it a little bit here so that i have some space or i can just drag this down a little bit and go into the view mode so profit we have now different options uh, as i was exploring with that so we need to choose the right option and the value is hundred thousand if i press tab or enter the value will be changed accordingly for the rest of the dashboard so that's about how you can make use of both the dimension value as well as the numerical filters if that's what you need for your dashboard so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic